Hi everyone, I'm Rachel with Limbo's product team. Today, we're going to be talking about creating asset hierarchies in Limbo. An asset hierarchy is used to organize your assets and support better reporting. Parent assets can be used to collect data about child assets and also pass along data, such as PMs, to make setting up your preventative maintenance schedules easier. This video will define each part of an asset hierarchy, explain the benefits of an asset hierarchy, and show you how to build one in Limbo. Depending on your permissions and plan with Limbo, some of your screens may be different than mine. If you have any questions, reach out to our support team. Let's get started. First, let's talk about what an asset hierarchy is and how it functions in Limbo. An asset hierarchy is a group of assets that are organized with a parent asset at the top and child assets beneath. We'll cover an example of this later, but think of it like a family tree. Much like a family tree, parent assets can have child assets and child assets can also be parent assets. So you can create multiple parent-child relationships within a hierarchy to be as broad or detailed as you need. If you're not sure which of your assets would be considered a parent asset, or how to organize your assets, think about assets as one of three types. The first is a physical place. This can be something as broad as a building on a university campus or as specific as a loading dock or production line in a factory. These are often used as parent assets to neatly organize equipment where it lives within a space. The second type is a grouping asset. These are assets that don't fit squarely into one space. For example, this could be something like a ventilation system that spans multiple floors of a physical space or a fleet of vehicles that are constantly moving. Creating parent assets like ventilation system or vehicle fleet allows you to stay organized and set up PMs for like assets within those categories. Last is the equipment itself. These are the assets that you perform work on in Limbo and are often the children of the first two asset types. Within a production line, this would be Robot 1, Robot 2, etc. And for a vehicle fleet, this would be Truck 1, Truck 2, and so on. If you can classify your assets as one of these three types, you can build asset hierarchies that keep things organized and help you look at drill down data. Let's set up an asset hierarchy together. I'm going to create two buildings that each have a first and second floor, a security system, and an HVAC unit. Navigate to the Manage Assets page and select Add an Asset. This will be our Building 1, so I'll name it Building 1. My building has two floors, so I'll create Floor 1 and Floor 2. I'll repeat this process for the Security System and HVAC unit. Now it's time to create the hierarchy. Hover to the left of an asset until the four-way arrow icon appears, and drag and drop your asset where you want it to go. I'm going to drag floors 1 and 2 to be child assets of building 1. Then I'll make the security system a child asset of floor 1 and the HVAC unit a child of floor 2. You can also hover to the right of an asset until the plus icon appears. This will take you to a new window where you can create your child asset. Now that I've completed this for building 1, I can repeat the same process for building 2. This time, all I have to do is duplicate my existing hierarchy by clicking the duplicate icon next to building 1. In the new window, select Copy All Assets to duplicate the entire group of assets. Once the hierarchy is duplicated, rename the assets and you're done. The major benefit to doing this is that all of the asset information you've built out will be included in the duplicate assets, including any PM templates you've created for your assets. If I click on the Building 1 Asset card and go to the Children tab, I can see that the child assets I created are listed here. I can add additional child assets from here as well. In the Reports tab, I have the option to include data from my child assets by checking off Include Children Data. By clicking this button, those children assets will be included in the report widgets below. By clicking on any of the widgets in this tab, I can compare to see which assets may be draining the most time and resources within a hierarchy. Thanks so much for watching. If you have additional questions, visit our Help Center or reach out to our support team to learn more.